Hi, I'm Caroline. Today we have the privilege of sitting down with the founder of Office, Craig Allen. Craig, you've been in this industry for so many years. Tell me, where did it all start? Oh, boy, it goes back 15 years now. And uh, really, the original vision was for uh, customers to be able to rent infrastructure or stuff that wasn't actually on their premise and be connected to the internet, be able to do emails without them having to be IT professionals themselves. Because... The reality is that the IT industry is not as simple as what some people make out to be. You really need the skills, the knowledge, and to build on that knowledge year on year such that you can get the best out of your IT services. And look, this is transforming the way we're doing business today. IT really should be the priority for any company in any industry. And how has the business changed and evolved over that time? We're still selling the same thing. Okay, It's just that people now call it cloud. Now, there are a lot of standards out there for cloud architecture. You know, you see OpenStack, cloud, Rackspace, even the likes of Microsoft and Amazon are getting into the game where they're basically providing infrastructure as a service uh, to customers. And, you know, it's a fantastic model. But it's the same thing we were selling 15 years ago. So we've sort of seen the writing on the wall and said, OK, we've got to get in this, uh, this game. And we're now becoming a company that's infrastructure agnostic. We don't mind if you want to run it in Rackspace. We don't mind if you want to run it in Singapore. We don't mind where you want to run it, just as long as it's one of the, in one of the major cloud providers that we can actually now support. How does Office stay on top of that rapid change? That's a really interesting question because I, I ask the same thing of my guys and what I say to them is, hey, you have to be willing to embrace change. You know, the IT profession is a very different profession than medicine or, you know, uh, basically in knowledge bases where you build on your knowledge. And that's what makes a difference in an IT company. You shouldn't be doing the practices that you've been doing 15 years ago. Now, you can still be selling the same service, like we have been with outsourced IT, but you have to change the way you do that. Craig, tell us about your customer service. One thing about a company is having a fantastic team, okay? And that team are really part of, they, you know, it's a bit like being on a football field. These guys want to get out there, they want to play, and they want to impress. And that's all about customer service. We have a term which we use, which is called non nobis solum. It's a Latin term, I know. I've just made five people in Cambridge very excited because <laughs> they understand what it means. But non nobis solum means not for ourselves alone. And what we're talking about there is that we can actually think beyond what our requirements are and what the customer's requirements are. So we ask questions and try and find out not what they're saying to us, but what are they actually trying to achieve? And what's next for Office? Where to now? What's happening is we're now starting to build the tools to be able to analyse what most people call big data. But the point after that is what I call AI. Artificial intelligence is going to start to play a major role in all of our lives. It's very early days. It's very, very early days. But we're starting to see the components come together where this is possible. You really are a forward-thinking company, aren't you? I think if you're not forward thinking in the IT game, uh, you're quickly going to go out of business. Uh, you know, if you can't keep ahead of the trend, even just being in the game has got to be a challenge and a lot of fun. And that's what we install with our guys and our customers. You know, we're coming up to a Christmas club, e-club meeting. We have these every year and they're pretty big events. We'll be bringing in some space you know, uh, speakers, if you like, and demonstrating that we really can take our customers beyond the clouds and into space. <laughs> Thanks, Craig.